What's up guys? I am just here looking at my Springfield XDS Mod 2 OSP. There are bullets inside of the mag. However, it's not loaded. I love this gun. I love everything about it. I like I like the size. I like that it's a perfect concealed carry firearm. I like the crimson trace on it. The always on. Um, I like how it feels. I like that I'm able to acquire my target and and I'm accurate with it. Um, now on to what I hate about this particular gun for one because it's a Springfield I don't get all of the aftermarket parts that I would have access to if it was a Glock all right um, I hate that you might come across a gun snob and a gun snob is always going to tell you that your gun's not good enough meaning if you don't have a Glock if you don't have a Heckler and Koch, if you don't have a FN or a Staccato, you have a cheap gun, all right? Don't let nobody tell you that you have a cheap gun, all right? And what their complaint is going to be is that there have been firearm instructors that have put thousands of rounds of ammo in these guns and have had malfunctions. Um, I think that that goes with anything. Um, if you put, you know, lots of stress on something, eventually you will have a malfunction. However, I haven't had a malfunction. This has been a reliable gun. Springfield in general uh, make reliable guns. They make reliable firearms. And so that's something that a gun snob will say. They'll probably pull up a stat that's from however long ago, and they will apply that stat and across the total lineup of firearms made by your company. In this case, it's Springfield. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Ruger. It could be any gun that's not over six hundred dollars. They're gonna they're gonna have that complaint. So let's see. Lack of aftermarket parts. Um, gun snobs. Gun snobs try to make me not like this gun. Um, and there was one more thing. There was one more thing that annoyed me about this gun. I can't put my finger on it. I love it so much. I'm accurate with it. It's easy to conceal. Look at that size. Look at this 3.3 inch barrel. And even with the small barrel, I'm still accurate with it. And you guys know that that's my most important um, attribute. That's my most important quality in having a gun is shootability. Um, I love the Crimson Trace. Um, I added this grip but I love that as well. And um, it's just a sexy, fine little gun. Do you have one? You know, let me know. Because I freaking love this thing. All right? If you want more of this, let me know. This is the XDS. Oh, I know what the third thing was. The third thing was minutes after I bought this. Minutes. Minutes. Now I won't say minutes after I bought this, but they discontinued this shortly after I bought it. So now you can only get the Springfield XD. No, no, is it the is it the XD? I can't remember. But they stopped making this. They continued making the Hellcat. I like this more than the Hellcat um, because it's a single stack and it it feels better in my hand than the Hellcat does. I like the Hellcat. I shoot this better than the Hellcat. It feels better in my hand than the Hellcat. And um, I like it more. You know, there was some overlap. They did make both guns at the same time, but two guns at around the same size, they kind of had to let one go, save on some manufacturing costs. But um, yeah, Springfield XDS, my two OSP. Let me know what you think, all right? Take care of yourself and me.
I take care of myself for you. All right? Peace.